Hello everybody. How you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Hope we can keep from having technical difficulties. Uh, so, but anyway, it's kind of cloudy here and uh, kind of cool, but oh well, it's the weather. There's not much we can do about it. Now, the title of our lesson is Let It Go. And I've mentioned this in the past. I mean, we need to do it. And, of course, the, the, the Let It Go, if you're a parent or grandparent, you probably know this is the title of a song from the movie Frozen. And the sentiments from the song are quite simple, and there's a lesson we can learn from it. I mean, we usually let the little things and the things we cannot control bother us to the point that we seemingly cease to function. And so, there, there's a lot of things going on in this world which really we have no control over, but we get all worked up about it. We get all, I mean, we get upset. I mean, the world of politics and, of course, the ideologies of cultures and governments and religious nuts can capture our attention for hours upon end. Yeah, you know, we cannot control any of it. So, we just need to learn to let it go. And sometimes our health bothers us. And yes, it makes us feel bad or we get a headache that is really bothersome. And we, but we also know that if we were more active and, and mobile, that we would be in better health. And we also know if we ate a proper diet, it would help. Sometimes we are broken down by the ravages of time. And there is not a one of us who is not getting younger. Or is not getting older, let's put it that way. We're not getting younger, we're not getting older. And so, and a lot of our problems have been years in the making. And the results of our past have caught up. To us, you know, a lot of us have various problems and diseases and things like that, and that's just because we didn't take care of ourselves at a younger age. See, there, there's something else uh, on the TV. Uh, I sometimes watch the show A Football Life. You know, it highlights some of the greatest players and the coaches and the story of their glory days. I mean, it was one of watching a specimen of strength, agility. Uh, speed and determination, yet all of them have worn down bodies today. I mean, they are in the wheelchairs or need assistance of walking canes, walking canes and walkers, and today they suffer great pain, and so do we. We feel for them, and really there's not much we can do about it, so we just need to learn to let it go. It's kind of hard when you're in pain to let it go. But, put it in God's hands and His care and let Him worry about your health. I mean, when you do, when you turn it over to God, you'll be amazed how much better you will feel when you do so. Even if you have a disease like cancer or something like that, when you come to the realization that I'm in God's hands, all of a sudden, you can worry about the other things in your life and not worry about your sickness or your disease. You know, we get bothered by things in our lives that we really cannot control. And we also make a big issue over some little trite matter. You know, have you ever gone for a walk and all of a sudden you feel like there's a boulder in your shoe? You sit down and pull your shoe off only to find a stone the size of a grain of sand is what was bugging you. I mean, sometimes it's, like I say, it's the little things that get to us. Maybe someone you, you, you live with or, or you, you're around a lot. They do little things that just kind of bug you. And, and there's not much you can do about that. Now, more importantly, we need to talk about our spiritual health. I mean, we should never be too old to remember God each day. I mean, we should pray often. And we probably do if we are hurting somewhere in our body or in our heart. And how often do we pray when we are feeling fine and have, a, have no major problems in our life? Well, yeah, we, we're still supposed to do that because 1 Peter 5, 7 tells us, cast our care upon him because he cares for you. And in Philippians 4, 6 and 7 tells us, be anxious for nothing, but turn, to, turn it over to God by prayer and supplication. I mean, when we do... So, the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, shall guard our hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 
Yeah, so the more we concentrate upon God's goodness and the blessings he bestows upon us, the less we need to worry about this world and what is going on it. We know what's going on. It is evil going on, and it's getting worse. And why should we be surprised? Because the Bible says it will get worse, and it will get worse. So um, when we consider that God probably fields many complaints, I mean, our little problems seem smaller than they really are. And so a lot of times we don't pray because we know God is very busy with all the turmoil going on in this world, so we really don't want to bother God. But you know what? Sometimes we think our problems are too small to even consider that God wants to hear them, but God does want to hear them. He wants to hear our problems. He just wants to hear from you. He wants to hear from me. He wants to hear our voice, our thoughts. And so if nothing else, I mean, if things are going fine, tell him your day is going fine and thank him for it because it's the day the Lord has made. And so we should be rejoicing and glad in it. We should be glad that God is in our lives. I mean, look how many people in this world do not have God in their lives. I mean, it shows. Uh, so... And think about this. In the Bible, God tells us hundreds of times, do not worry. I heard someone say that the, word, the do not worry, do not fear, do not fret is about 365 times in the Bible. And when you consider, that's, that's one for each day of the year. So most of the times these words were directed at other individuals, but in a way, these words are meant for you and me. I mean, we should learn to just let things go and turn it over to God. So we ask you to make up your mind today. Let it go. Let God do what he wants to do. And that is to take care of you. And when we can finally give up trying to do things for ourselves and turn them over to God, what we'll find is a great burden lifted from our souls. I mean, if you want to consider this, I mean, read Psalm 32. Uh, first five verses. I mean, that'd be very comforting when you think about it. Because when we try and hold it in, I mean, our body just wastes away. But when we let it go, it's like a burden is lifted. So let God handle it. Let it go. I mean, whatever it might be, whatever your problems are, I mean, let's face it, turn it over to God. And you'll find everything becomes a whole lot easier. So consider those thoughts. Think about those things. I mean, tomorrow's the Lord's Day, so we should be concentrating upon meeting with the saints tomorrow and, and spending time with each other because we really do need each other. And so consider these thoughts, and Lord willing, be back again tomorrow with another lesson. Bye-bye for now.